Jackson getting a double kill from himself. And barracks are under top attack. barracks, the range are taking a lot of damage. And now, what do we have up for the Rubik? That's going to be a dead of melee Dyer's barracks. Range barracks will be the next target. Piper just does not have the ability to try and really do all that much. Orchid is available from him if he needs to use it. Cogs come down from the clockwork, and there goes the blade mail. I feel as the Viper's completely forgetting the fact that he has an Orchid, actually. And now the stun being thrown by the Viper onto, I mean, on, from the Alchemist onto the Rubik. There goes the Orchid out from the, the Viper onto the Alchemist. Alchemist now going to need to try and run. But both the middle and the top barracks are now down, and that is going to be the escape of the Alchemist. Now, Blade Mail usage by the Clockwork. Going to be his death here. Going to try and Cogs or uh, I mean, ulti away there with a the hookshot, but not going to be enough. And that's actually an Ownage for Spectre there. Very interesting, in fact, getting an ownage. Not expecting that. 29 to 33, though. But the middle racks and the top racks now have both fallen. Decay slowly taking this game. Let's check how many viewers we actually have right now. I'm interested in that one. How many viewers do we have right now? 150 viewers for this for this 60-minute long game that we're about to reach here. In 3, 2, 1. We have now eclipsed the 60-minute mark. Oh, man. I was hoping I wouldn't get any of these really long games to begin the day with because it starts to, uh, you know, really start to get us off to a, uh, a slow start. I'm most likely going to miss the, uh, the next round, or at least part of the next round. We'll see how it goes. But either way, thank you very much for being here, everybody, for this long, for the long haul here. Be that on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Mr. Order. Be that through the Dota TV ticket. Uh, League of Dota Season 2 ticket, that is. But Troll Wall are going to be up in 40 seconds, and I don't think there's really that much of a way for them to be able to take this game right now at this point. At least at this point right now, uh, throughout more fights like that, and being able to keep their bottom racks, they might be able to do it. Stun going to go in on the Venomancer. Venomancer four stacks him up to the high ground, and now, oh, Alchemist is going to be pretty bad. There goes the Spectre, going to be Abyssal Blade. Inspector, will he possibly die here? Going to fall. Looks like he will, in fact, going to fall. In fact, fall by back. 25 seconds. We will have that in 25 seconds to be able to use. But that is 1,900 gold for to use that. Under attack. Not exactly where you want to be. Double damage. Oh, that actually took quite a bit of damage there, in fact. Radiant so, structures are there. fortified. The instruction being fortified with Viper and Bristol back both pushing the uh, bottom T3 tower. Now, top lane Rubik just trying to sort of uh, farm up a little bit, or not really farm up, just keep the creeps out of his base as best as he possibly can. And things are now coming out from Bristol back. Radiant's bottom are, tower. This is right under here, attack. this is our one objective in the game. We need to try and defend these until Spectre can really hit six slotted item capacity. But the thing is, is that until he gets up that heart, he is simply not tanky enough. And it's not going to happen anytime soon. Right now, Roshan. Oh, we'll see how much time until he's up in just a moment as the thing starts to lighten up. And how much time is it going to be? Drum roll, please, everybody. And it's a full two minutes almost. About the longest time possible. So, I'm going to be a little bit of a wait for that to be able to happen. Now Troll, Warlord, Alchemist, and everybody else on the team pushing this bottom lane. This is the biggest problem, is the fact that it's not the middle lane that needs to push the bottom lane, so they need to completely abandon this top lane in order to do anything. If you're in the middle lane, it's possible to have somebody quickly go back to that creeps or something, but right now, not looking too great for them. Radiant's so middle barracks this are bottom under attack. Barracks. Although at the same time, Spectre still has... Why Dyer's did he pick up the Palace of the is my question. Radiant's item middle choice, but Dyer's bottom, bottom barracks that just sort of basically died. Now, fortification not going to be used for a wall or going to possibly the next Radiant's target. Satanic is used by him trying to just keep himself alive. And he will be able to survive there for quite some time. And that is a death on the troll a death on the clockwork as well. And now Bristleback going to just try and do what he can. Looks like the abandoned ultimate is already also down. And now Bristleback trying to survive using his quill sprays. One more quill spray will be able to get some more kills, it looks like. But will it be able to get it off? No, he will not. And will, in fact, die abandoned going to be able to get the kill there. But Mega Creeps are now up. And this is what's confusing me. Why does he have a talisman of evasion? Very, uh, very questionable. Oh, actually, no, never mind. It's the Heaven's Halberd. So, I uh, decided to go for the Heaven's Halberd instead of anything else. I, I just don't... I'm not feeling it. I feel like Spectre was building for two different things this game. In the beginning, he was building for mid-game dom dominance with the, um... With the Vanguard pickup, but then he decided, never mind, I can go for Radiance. And then he just wasn't able to pick himself up quickly enough. And this is the, uh, this is the downside of that sort of a, uh, a problem on Spectre. 
is that if he gets a lead early and is able to keep going and going for the late game, picking up things like the mana style, like the items he has now. If he picked up items that he has now earlier on in the game, minus the Vanguard picking up the mana style instead of that early on, Radiance, Butterfly, Heart, then this would be a completely different game. But that early Vanguard pick, I feel, is what is really helping the release right now. I hope actually BKB used by the Alchemist. This one, uh, pretty, not, I wouldn't say desperate BKB, but one to BKB to say, hey, I don't need to be here right now at all, and I'm going to just leave. Decay, though, with over 12,000 gold lead in terms of experience, over a 14,000 experience lead for the good guys. What are the levels looking like right now? Wow. The amount of level 25s is pretty ridiculous, in fact. That's, uh, that's quite a big experience lead, though, but I don't think it's going to be enough at this point. I'm actually going to go move it over to this. There we go. That type for the buybacks. Between the two of them. Now. These mega creeps, the real mega creeps, the big, big bad boys, are really going to start to be uh, the bane of the existence of them. Now Abaddon. You know it's a sad day when the Abaddon is the one that's like, guys, we need somebody to carry the Aegis. Abaddon. Like, that's a problem when you're facing up against that team that has is able to get Roshan like that and it's that late in the game. But now Spectre needs to be very careful. Notice that there's enemy heroes and now backs off. They need to try and defend at these T4s. This is going to be the fight that really determines if the good guys get to uh, get to move on in the game or not. Spectro Dagger gets thrown. One disc is out. Somebody goes back in there. Goes the hot out from Spectro. You're going to see what he can try and do. Lich Ultra flies through as well. And, oh, the Spectro of Boots doing so much damage right now. But Viper going to fall. Spectre pops the mana style, going to try and move in right now, going to try and move in on the T4. Wolverine will take Russell back, going to fall. Respect does he have buyback? Doesn't look like he will, in fact. Actually, buyback is, in fact, ready. Never mind, he doesn't have a goal for him. He actually does that. And that's going to be a full team wipe from the good guys. And this is going to be an ultra kill. Bristle back, buyback. T4 is going to be going down. Captain Sarcasm calling the well played. Not going to GG yet, though. Captain Sarcasm is going to be the outcast. That's going to be the game. Dyer's agent is under attack. That is the G, G basically, is the Ancient decides to start to fall. Viper calling the GG, and that is the end of our first match of the day. A full 66 minutes of Dota that we just went through. I feel like I, uh, I really went through, uh, some, some hard times, some good times, and, uh, you know, very, very interesting game. There was ups, there was downs. I laughed, I cried, all around. Thank you very much for being here, guys. Please, like I said in the very, very um, beginning, please do make sure that you do follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Nistagord. Follow me on Twitter at, uh, at, at Nistagord Dota. Also, make sure that you do keep on tuning into the League of Dota Season 2. We put out great content every single weekend, and we constantly will be. Season 3 going to be a long ways away, and just keep on going. Thank you to everybody that's watching, and we will be back just a little bit with the next matchup, hopefully.